2008 Honda Ridgeline slash Honda Pilot oil pan replacement. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'm gonna walk you through the steps of replacing. So one of the first steps you want to do is pull the dipstick out a little bit and then rack your vehicle up and lift it all the way up. Okay, now that we've got our vehicle up in the air, if you're doing this at home, um, use floor jacks and jack stands and jack it up as absolutely high as you can get it. Um, go ahead and start draining your oil. And while the oil is draining, we're gonna remove this cross brace here. So uh, there's gonna be four bolts and uh, two on each side. We're gonna remove those, remove the bracket. We're replacing this uh, oil pan because it pulled the threads out of the uh, out of it. It was repaired once and then it pulled the threads out again. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and uh, replace the pan. So now that we got the shield off, we need to uh, remove this exhaust pipe here. And uh, so what I like to do is I like to start at the front and uh, start soaking it and penetrating oil. So we'll, we'll soak the front ones and then we'll come back a little bit further. And then right here is, it goes to the back manifold, soak it here and the uh, support bracket and also right here at the cat. So after you get it soaking, go ahead and start removing the bolts. So you're gonna remove the, four, uh, the three 14 millimeter bolts at the cat. And then uh, you can remove the two 14 millimeter bolts here at the uh, front of the front intake manifold, or exhaust manifold, I'm sorry. And then uh, it right here is gonna be, I believe, three more bolts here for the uh, back manifold. After you remove those, then you can remove the two 12 millimeter bolts here that hold the hanger on, and then the whole exhaust system will come out. So after getting your exhaust out, as you can see, there's three bolts here, three bolts here, and three bolts here. I had to use a little bit of a uh, pry bar to get them off the studs also and um, I wanted to point out that you need to order the gaskets for this so there will be a donut o-ring here, here and also on the end of the tail shaft here. Okay now that the uh, exhaust is out of our way you're gonna go ahead and remove this bracket here it, it mounts to the exhaust here so you'll just remove the bolt here and here remove that bracket and then on the back of the um, uh, the oil pan here next to the bell housing you need to remove this 10 millimeter cover a bolt here remove this cover here and there's also going to be a, a bolt up inside there so now i'm going to remove the splash shield on the right side here um, just remove the, the clips here and here and then there's going to be a couple more here and just follow them around wherever you see a clip whatever we need to get this splash shield just we don't need to take it all the way off if, if you want to, you can take it all the way off, but I'm gonna leave it on. I'm just gonna pull it out of my As way. You can see, I took the shield and I just, I took a couple of the clips off and folded it back and I'm holding it back with my, my uh, bungee cord here on the bumper. And uh, and the reason why I don't like to take them all the way off is those clips are real, they break easily and then you have to scrounge up the clips and stuff. So I take off as little as I possibly can. So now that, now that that's done, what, we're, what I'm gonna do next is uh, on the oil pan itself, there's four of these 17 millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the four 17 millimeter bolts. And then after that, I'm gonna start right here at the back of the uh, oil pan. Actually, I'll start like right here. And uh, I'll go clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter which way. And I'll take, remove all the 10 millimeter bolts, which are about 18 of them. That goes all the way around the oil pan. And uh, the ones in the front, if you, if you come through the front of the car on the side of the car here you can get to those really easily and um, so I'll remove all of the bolts and then once you get those so out, after removing the uh, four 17 millimeter bolts and all the 10 millimeter bolts around the whole oil pan what you're gonna do next is I'm looking I'm, on, I'm towards the front of the car so right here is a little slot where you can put a pry bar and you'll pry it here and on the back side I'll have the same thing and then also on the nose of the uh, oil spot pan. here where you could pry on too to pry the, um, the oil pan down because it's glued on with silicone. So once you get it pried down, you can go ahead and work the oil pan out of, out of the vehicle. So now that we got our oil pan down, you need to scrape off all the old silicone all the way around the pan and then clean everything up is, and try to you'll see how everything's dripping on you and stuff so you want to wipe and clean everything up as best you can and what I like to do the tip I'm going to give you is do this towards the end of the day so you take it apart like at three o'clock in the afternoon and then you let it sit overnight with the oil pan off and drip and drain down and um, and the reason why is as what happens is the oil will keep it'll continue to run down here and then run onto the surface 
and uh, you need that surface really clean and dry when you go to put this back together and if you get even a little bit of oil underneath the underneath the um, the new oil pan and, and the silicone that we're going to put on uh, you'll have an oil leak you'll, you'll be doing this job again so what I found over the years the best way to prevent that from happening is to take it off in the afternoon let them drain overnight and then and then that way you re really reduce the uh, risk of a uh, contaminant uh, on your new silicone to clean the uh, block I'm going to use a combination of a, a roll-off disc and a, a die grinder and I like to use worn out uh, roll-off discs on the aluminum they're a little softer and uh, and then I'm going to use razor blades and scrapers and to scrape off all the old silicone and when you're cleaning this stuff off you want to be careful not to gouge the aluminum so so you want to work slowly and just scrape off and the, the, your razor blade is going to be your best friend it, it'll get 90 percent of this stuff off and then you can use the roll disc or the um, scrapers to uh, get the remainder so after letting the oil pan sit overnight I'm going to do a little fine more cleaning by uh, putting brake clean on a rag and wiping the uh, the surface down really good and make sure it's good and dry and then uh, once I'm happy with that what I'll do is I'll, I'll start prepping the new oil pan so I have the we got the genuine on the part for this and the, uh, the factory sealant that they use to uh, to silicone the uh, pan on you can use regular silicone if you like but the silicone that they use at the factory worked really well. You know, I've seen Hondas with hundreds of thousands of miles on it, and the, and the gaskets not leak. Um, the reason why we're changing this one was the drain plug was stripped out a couple times on it, and so it's beyond repair now. So I'm going to take my uh, the silicone factory silicone stuff here and just put a thin bead all the way around the uh, entire uh, oil pan. So now that I got my factory silicone back on the on the uh, oil pan itself I'm going to wipe down the surface on the bottom of the engine block really good with a rag with some brake clean and make sure that it's thoroughly dry then I'll position the oil pan back in onto the block and uh, line up the dowel pins and, and push it on and I'll and I'll start all the uh, 10 millimeter bolts and I'll and I'll tighten them down in a crisscross pattern so I'll tighten one on this side one on this side and just kind of go back and forth from the middle and work my way out so I'll, I'll start in the middle and do a couple of these back and forth and then I'll go to the ends and we'll do a couple of these and it's, until they're all the way around and after they're all on and tight and I do them by I tighten them down by hand you'll you'll you, the, the oil pan will pretty much bottom out and then you just get like a quarter turn more just you don't need to bear down on it to just just tighten them up and then after they're all tight then I'll go ahead and start the um, the four 17 millimeter bolts there so once you get the pan all the way up and snug, all the bolts snug, then I just go back over the bolts and just tighten them. So I use a little extension with a small, this is a 3H drive, but it's a small, small ratchet. And I just give it like a quarter more turn and that's it. And uh, with, once I've already did the crisscross pattern, now I just go around. I'll just start at one spot and work my way around until I get back to that spot. So I'll start here and just go one way and go all the way around the bolt all the way to the pan and once I get back to the stop then I know I'm done so now that the oil pan is on I'm gonna go ahead and change out the o-rings or exhaust gaskets and put the exhaust manifold back in and bolt it all up I'm also gonna put this little plate back on that I took off so I'll put that back in and bolt it up Okay, before you put the exhaust on, you're gonna put this little bracket that we took off. It went from the oil pan to the exhaust manifold. Go ahead and bolt that back up. So when I put the exhaust in, I stabbed the back end first, and then I swung the nose and the uh, the main body of the exhaust manifold up, and started the bolts here, and then started the bolts here all by hand, and then I ran them up and tightened them down, and they had this crush wa uh, wa washer style gaskets in there, so. So I just tighten them until you can feel that crush washer crush and then basically like a quarter more turn. And that's as tight as you need them. And I did all, all of the bolts like that, so nine of the bolts. And then I put the two uh, uh, support bracket uh, hanger bolts back in and tighten that up. Now that's done, we're gonna put the, uh, the, cross, the cross shield back on. 
and then we'll put our um, our, um, our lower cover and shields back on. Okay, now that we got the cross member bolted back up and all of our shields back, bolted back up, we're going to lower the vehicle down and, uh, and put oil in it. So normally these take about four and a half quarts of oil, but because we had the pan off, it's going to take a little bit extra. So closer to the five quart range. So I put I put four and a half in it, and then check it, and then kind of add and top up until, until you uh, you need. Also, uh, after you put four and a half quarts in it, go ahead and start it. Let the oil circulate through your oil filter if you changed it, and then and then uh, check your oil. And that'll complete the oil pan replacement on a 2008 Honda Ridgeline slash Pilot with the 3.5 liter in, uh, engine in it. I'm Brian Essett from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. Encourage you to subscribe and uh, invite you to uh, check out the new website at howtoautomotive.com. Thank you.